Hey, what's up guys? Jacob Rothenberg here with eXp Realty. And the topic of today's video is the three biggest differences I've seen in Las Vegas between pre-COVID and now. So I've been living in Las Vegas for close to a year and I have seen the drastic changes before and after COVID has hit. So, uh, and in that context, I've obviously too have been in Vegas as a tourist. So I've kind of seen how it is uh, when it's quote normal uh, compared to now. So I'll talk about the three main differences. First difference, and I think this is a given, is that currently as of today's uh, filming, all bars and all clubs or virtually most clubs are closed. So when it comes to either nightclubs, excess, uh, jewel, light, a marquee, all of those nightclubs are closed indefinitely. And to my knowledge, there is not yet a solid reopening plan because we just don't know what's going to happen with regards to uh, <laughs> like how can we safely open nightclubs uh, while having COVID managed. So there's no real plan for that. So um, is there still stuff to do in Las Vegas? Absolutely. Is it the crazy party town that it once had the reputation to be prior to COVID? Honestly, it doesn't quite have that vibe anymore. So while you can still have a good time, if you love to gamble, if you love to eat, if you just want good scenery, you can definitely still do that in Las Vegas. Uh, but however, now um, you're not going to be clubbing it up until 4 a.m. at Dre's picking up chicks. It just doesn't work like that. And uh, which leads me to my second point. The demographics as far as who is in Vegas right now compared to like those people that perhaps, you know, dress real fancy. You've got high end clientele while you still have a presence of that somewhat. Um, just to lay it out there and be straightforward about it. The, the demographic is slightly changed. You have people that are literally spending their weekly unemployment money on a Vegas vacation. So at some points you can see people on the strip riding um, those disabled vehicle carts, even though they are perfectly physically fine. Um, and you've just, and it honestly sometimes reeks of weed on the strip and hey, that might be a good thing. But um, for those of you who might be sensitive about that, well, at least wear your mask. You won't have to deal with that as much. And yeah, it just doesn't have quite the same, you know, super young college party vibe to it. You've got definitely a different crowd around here. And I'm not going to say that crime has increased because I don't have the actual statistics on that. Um, but you've just got a different demographic of people currently vacationing on the strip. And the third point I wanna make is that uh, traffic has drastically decreased on the strip. So as someone who has literally seen it take up to an hour, literally one hour to go half a mile from um, the very beginning of the strip to perhaps the Bellagio during Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve, that's obviously a crazy exception, but it can take a really long time just to go through the strip, especially during rush hour. Now, even even after 5 p.m., it's still it's still a pretty chill drive, just because you don't have the traffic that we normally used to have. So, with that regard, um, if you want to, like I said, gamble and have like a chill good time, Vegas is actually probably right now preferable uh, because you don't have those big crowds any longer until things resume back to normal. However, if you are looking to go crazy and have that awesome epic night life you might have to wait just a while. So if you are interested in coming to Vegas, hit me up, let's hang out. Otherwise, if you are possibly interested in buying a home, leave me a DM, hit me up in the uh, comments below. And I've got a form too, if you wanna have a call together and see what your options are. So till then guys, I've actually got to get to work and I will see you later. Take care.